There is no greater shame than a man who never even catches a glimpse of his potential. There's a quote on the front page of David Goggins' book, Can't Hurt Me. It says, To the unrelenting voice inside my head that will never allow me to stop. Two months ago, I had the opportunity to meet David Goggins and David Goggins is... He encapsulates every single aspect of self-mastery that you could imagine. He, if you don't know who he is, he went from being 300 pounds, like grossly obese, right? Spraying for cockroaches, couldn't read, couldn't write, none of that there. To being a best-selling author, runs 240 mile races, has a world record for the most amount of pull-ups in 24 hours, and is a retired Navy SEAL. And like, that is what amazes me about him it's not as his achievements necessarily as much as they are absolutely amazing it's more so the transformation he he underwent david goggins went from somebody with no hope he was at the bottom of the ladder in every area of life he had no discipline nothing to having the world at his fingertips and having the most amount of discipline that anybody could ever ask for i don't know if you've been on social media recently but if you have been and you're watching this video, you've likely seen the videos and the clips of Goggins screaming, Who's going to carry the boats? And all that sort of stuff, right? The man is just made of discipline. Or so it seems now. The question that often gets asked about people who know where he was and where he is now is, How the fuck did he do it? How did he go from someone with no hope to, the wor like I said, the world at his fingertips? Well, you see, the answer is that inside of us, inside of all of us, so me, inside of you, inside of Goggins, there's a flame. This flame is basically the voice that tells you that you're destined for more. It's the voice that tells you that you're destined for greatness. Most people live their lives in an effort to put out this flame. They put themselves down, they tell themselves it's not possible, they listen to society and society tramples all over this fucking flame. Okay, you go to school and you're told, no, you need to go to university, you need to get a job, you need to live the way society tells you to. You can't try to do this, you can't try to do that. No, you can't be a footballer, you can't do this. We're all told this sort of stuff as kids. Society is trampling on this flame that tells you that you're destined for more. Now, the thing about the flame is that it can never be put out completely. There's always something left. There's always a spark, an ember. Maybe the whole flame's left for you. But there's always something left no matter what no matter how much society has trampled over you, no matter how much your parents told you you couldn't do this, or how much you believe you can't achieve anything great, there's always a bit of the flame left. For example, Goggins, it looks like there's no flame left in him when he's 300 pounds spraying for cockroaches and with no hope. But there was, there was something, there was an ember, there was a bit of warmth, and he latched onto this warmth, he fed it fuel, and he turned this fucking spark into a bonfire so big that the world would know his name. Like me, for example, I spent the first 20 years of my life listening to society, listening to them telling me this voice was bad, that I, this voice of trying to drive for more, trying to drive for greatness, for progress, for self-mastery was bad. So I lived a mediocre and unfulfilling life. I never did anything great for the first 20 years of my life. Now, some people like Goggins, like Michael Jordan, like Steve Jobs, they attach onto this flame, whether they do it from young, whether they do it when they're older like Goggins did, they attach onto this flame, they feed it fuel and they achieve greatness. Most people dampen it. They do everything they can to get rid of this flame. They're scared of it. They're scared of their potential, of what they could achieve. And society helps them be scared. Society puts it out. Society tells them that it's bad. And people end up going around life with no confidence in themselves, no confidence in their ability, no hope for the future. And they think this is just what life's meant to be. You're meant to wake up depressed and anxious and have no hope and have no drive and have no goals and have no ambition for progress. They believe this is how you're meant to live. And then they wonder why they're anxious and depressed. And they end up, they search for a short-term external motivation, okay? They watch a clip of Goggins and they feel motivated. They feel good for 10 minutes and then it fades. Because Homer Rice said, You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both of those methods are temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. And look, it's not their fault that they go through life thinking this is how it's meant to be, that you're not meant to have goals, that you're not meant to want to achieve great things. It's not their fault, it's not your fault either. It's society's. You see, look, we could go deep, we could go conspiratorial, I'll keep it shallow for this video. Society wants you weak, society wants you controllable, 
why well so that they can use you to benefit themselves okay we'll keep it there we don't want to get too deep and conspiratorial in this video but the best way to keep you weak the best way to keep you controllable the best way for you to get you to do what they want you to do to tell you that this voice this inner flame of greatness isn't real to tell you that it's bad that it doesn't exist but it is this flame this voice of greatness that drives the world forward it is this flame that drives the greats of art of business of technology of science it is this flame this drive for greatness this drive to make an impact this drive to master themselves and their craft that drives all these realms of human endeavor forward to make progress and to advance the human life you need to understand that this flame is inside you and that it isn't bad regardless of what your family say regardless of what your parents say regardless of what your school tells you regardless of what society tells you this flame isn't bad this flame is inside you and it's meant to be there to drive you towards greatness and look you likely have some limiting beliefs popping up in your head right now i don't have this flame this flame is bad if others are winning i must be losing or for me to win others must lose all of these limiting beliefs that are popping up in your head right now about the flame about this inner voice of greatness are societal programming trying to keep you weak and controllable you have this flame i have this flame goggins is this flame every fucking person on this planet has this flame once i started giving fuel to this flame once i started leaning in to this idea this concept i started doing hard things i didn't want to do i started chasing my own curiosities not what the world told me to do i started building out projects related to those curiosities and stacking wins this flame turned into a fire it motivated me it challenged me to think bigger aim bigger and do more it gave me what i needed to take the necessary actions to get to where i am today and to where i will go now depending on where you are on your journey to self-mastery this flame this voice inside you might be a whole fire it might be a flame it might be a spark or it might even be an amber regardless remember this flame is inside you and it never dies and any any sign of heat any sign of warmth inside you you must do what goggins did you must do what jordan did you must do what jobs did you must do what any great has ever done you must turn this warmth into a bonfire you must turn any sign of internal drive into a passion that eats you up that if you're not working on it you feel like you're missing out that all you think about all you want to do is achieve greatness in this realm and this whatever you're chasing for you like i said no matter where you are this flame is there it might be a spark might be an amber might be a, might be a fire whatever it is how do you turn this warmth into a bonfire how do you turn from whatever stage you are at now to this bonfire that the likes of goggins has achieved the first thing you need to do is hard things that you don't want to do you need to get uncomfortable you see your mind it wants you to take the path of least resistance easy route every single time because it requires less energy less effort and your mind resorting back to its survival instincts wants you to take wants you to conserve energy take less effort but doing hard things that you don't want to do so whether it's ice baths working out deep work reading whatever it is it helps add fuel to the fire you can stack every single time you do something you don't want to do that is hard that is uncomfortable that is difficult that is challenging you can stack that as a win you add that as fuel to the fire over time these wins stack up there's more fuel to the fire the fire gets bigger but you also condition your mind to enjoy delayed gratification and doing hard things now the next thing you need to do is chase your curiosities and passions you need to find something that you are interested in i mean you i don't mean what society tells you that you're interested in i don't mean what you think you should be interested in i mean what you genuinely intrinsically love to learn about what could you research what you could you watch and hours pass and you don't even realize it find mentors in that area right whether they're free from youtube videos from instagram whatever it is from blogs from newsletters find mentors or they could be paid you could buy courses you could buy mentorships if you're in the financial capabilities to do so and start going farther down that rabbit hole of your curiosities and passions build your knowledge base in that area right but while you're doing this you also need to build out a project related to that area you need to have something to apply all this information all this knowledge that you're building related to your curiosity you need something to apply it to in the real world this way you can connect dots right you make up your own unique ideas you make progress you get dopamine because you're connecting dots you're making progress keeps you coming back for more adds fuel to the fire and you keep going deeper and deeper and the fire gets bigger and bigger so whatever your project is whether you're building a business whether you're creating content whether you're i don't know painting a landscape 
painting, okay? Whatever it is, build out a project that is related to your curiosities that you're learning about. Now, you need the most important thing here is that you're stacking small wins throughout this whole process. So when it, every time you do an ice bath, that's a win. Every time you work out, that's a win. Every time you learn a new piece of information about your curiosity, that's a win. Every time you do something to build out the project, that's a win. You stack wins. You stack wins and you stack them and you stack them. Soon you're going to have a pile so fucking big you can't even see the top of it. And before you realise that this ember that was inside you that you didn't even believe existed is now a fucking bonfire and all you want to do is achieve greatness and achieve self-mastery. Now, the final step. The, the step that is really going to turn this fire into a bonfire. Something so big that you can't even believe it's real. Something that drives you so much that... You're, it, it almost takes you back is to find your purpose now this is a long one this is iterative this is not something you're going to do overnight essentially while you're doing the hard things you're also chasing your curiosities and building out a project related to that curiosity okay you do more of what you enjoy in that curiosity you do less of what you don't enjoy while following that curiosity and building out that project eventually your purpose will be revealed to you now your purpose can change over time Okay, that's fine. Your purpose, you, you have a purpose for a set period of time. You have a mission, right? That's your mission. Once you complete that mission, your purpose changes. Okay, and your purpose is not something that is easily found. It is something that takes time, takes effort. It takes introspection. It takes you to be able to look at yourself and realize, okay, what do I actually enjoy? What do I not enjoy? What do I want to do? This step isn't easy, but this is why it adds so much fuel to the fire because it takes so much more effort. Remember, your mind wants you to take the path of least resistance. By doing hard things, ice baths, working out, that sort of stuff, you're going to make it easier to put in the necessary effort to achieve, to find your purpose and to add fuel to this fire, turn it into a bonfire and achieve self-mastery. I want to really reiterate this point that this flame, no matter where you are in life, no matter what circumstances you've been through, how, much you've, how many times you've fucked up, how bad you feel, where you were born and raised, none of that. The flame is inside you. This flame never goes out. It might be a spark, it might be an ember, but it is always there, waiting for you to give it fuel. Waiting for you to realise your potential, chase self-mastery and rise up from the ashes. The flame is inside you, and when the flame is there, so is hope. But it is up to you to take action. It is up to you to take responsibility for everything that's happened in, to your in your life everything that's happening to you right now and everything that will happen to you and unlock this inner greatness that is festering inside of you begging to be released to the world it is your responsibility to achieve greatness there is no greater shame than a man who never even catches a glimpse of his potential my friends that is it for this video thank you for watching as always all my resources to the self mastery ladder mastery operating system all of that in the description below if you want to check them out do all the youtube stuff like subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you in the next video